Hey everyone, Nick Golikov here. Wanted to share a little conversation that I had with Mayor Eric Swenson. Um, mayor Eric is the mayor of the city of Woodburn, a community that I don't live in, but I do a lot of business in personally and professionally. Um, and we're he's one of the Rotary members together with me, and we had a good conversation about what uh, the community is doing and how they're handling uh, this COVID situation. Um, I had it recording on Zoom, but likely there was a user error and cut out half of the recording, but I was able to get one of his most important messages. So I'd like to share that with you right here. And I think the other one is, you know, I mean, we're this tension between um, like stay at home, but also like stay mentally healthy. Like, so please take walks and um, don't be afraid to to go outside, but just make sure you're maintaining um, the distance. It's also a time to support local businesses. So same thing, like be selective and be safe. Don't send the whole family down to a restaurant to pick up in order to go, but um, support our local businesses as you can that are still open um, and, and being safe that way. And I think my, my the larger message is that um, this too will pass. Like there's, I mean, go back in history and there's been lots of plagues and choleras and things like that. Um, it's, it, it's, it's a difficult time but viruses run their course. And so if we just all stay at home um, and take walks and with six feet distance and don't gather um, uh, with more than 10 people and kind of stick to that, um, that this will pass. And, and the positive news from the medical professionals in Oregon is that we have flattened the curve. Um, it's working as expected. Other states are experiencing, um, experiencing much worse. And so if we just stick to the plan, um, so, be not afraid, right? It's a th it's kind of a scary time, but but be not afraid. Um, we'll work through this and we'll come out on the other side. Absolutely. That's a great message. And I appreciate you taking the time to uh, hang out with us for a little bit. Thank you for your leadership. And hopefully we see you at a, at a Rotary meeting in person soon. <laughs> okay. I look forward to it. <laughs> All right. Well, have a good one. We'll see you later. Right. Thanks bye -bye. very much. Bye. Yep. There you go. That was uh, his ending comment uh, for our conversation. You know, some good information that he shared, especially the part about, you know, our numbers are coming down. We're on a downward curve, um, something that a lot of states are not experiencing. So we're doing the right things and we're likely, if we can continue doing it, we'll be uh, out, you know, in the clear soon. Uh, some of the other things that he shared with me that did not get uh, recorded onto the, the video like I had planned um, was that some of our uh, local resources that do need additional help or donations, um, the Aware Food Bank does need uh, food donations. And if you're healthy and able to volunteer, they, have, they, they always need people to come and help at their location. Um, so with some training and obviously some uh, social distancing practices and some health and safety, obviously, uh, concerns, and so volunteering at the Aware Food Bank is one of them. Then Love Inc. is another organization that needs help uh, just by getting some, some health and hygiene type products for some of the community members. Um, they're also looking for uh, games, board, uh, game, board games, puzzles, things like that, you know, for the families who are stuck at home and they're, you know, don't have a lot to do. So the, that's another resource he shared with us. Um, the Emanuel Lutheran Church uh, is resuming community dinners, but they are grab and go. So every Wednesday from 5.30 to 7, so Emanuel Lutheran Church. Um, and what else? A, the Woodburn Proud is also helping, uh, you know, donate protective masks. They do lunch deliveries and any of that. So if you're able to help Woodburn Proud as well. Again, there's a, you know, we're living in a unique time. Uh, but a lot of community members are uh, gathering and helping in any way that they can, if they're, especially if they're healthy. I know the, the Russian Old Believer community, they're also sewing hundreds and hundreds of face masks for local organizations. So a lot of good going around and you know, a lot of good news out there. If you're watching mainstream media news constantly and you're having some anxiety, maybe turn some of that off and, and, and just see what's going on in our local communities. Especially like Mayor, Mayor Swenson said, um, 
here in Oregon, according to the health authorities that he was speaking to, we're on a downward curve. We're, we're having, we're seeing some better results in our state, which a lot of other states aren't seeing. Um, and that's it's great news. So continue doing what you're doing. You know, stay healthy, go for walks, but you know, do it, do it safely, like he had suggested. Um, and you know, help out, help your community members in any way that you can. Give them a call. Talk to the people who, who are, you know, there's a lot of extroverts out there who are just dying to get outside and have some conversations with people. So give those people a call and, and touch base with people, with friends, family, maybe you haven't been uh, communicating with recently and, you know, be helpful. So that's all for me. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that conversation that you caught the end of. Um, but I'll be posting some of the resources here at the bottom if you'd like to share help out, reach out, let me know. I'll get you connected to the right people. Thank you very much. We'll talk again soon.